Hello, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to January of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new here, hi, my name is Eric. It is so wonderful to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So uh, general reading for the month of January 2022, but it is going to be split into two parts. The first part is going to be speaking to Libra rising. And when I speak to Libra rising, I am using sidereal astrology, not tropical or mainstream. So that's going to be different than what you are typically used to if you are unfamiliar with sidereal astrology or if you're more oriented towards mainstream astrology. If this is new to you, I encourage you to stick around and check it out and see how it resonates for you. In the second half of the reading, we are going to get a general energy pull for the full complete collective of Libra energy. And that part of the reading is not non-denominational, so it doesn't matter what form or what practice of astrology you uh, ascribe to. Uh, it's just going to be a general reading, all right? So it doesn't really matter. But the first half is going to be speaking to Libra rising from the sidereal point of view. If you have never seen your sidereal chart and you're interested in it, hit me up. I would be very happy to provide you with a copy of your chart free of charge. Of course, if you would like an interpretation, then that will be charged for. Uh, with that said, if you would like a personal reading with me, whether that be astrology or tarot, my email address can be found in the description box below, along with some of the readings that I offer. Just shoot me an email. Let me know you're interested in a reading and I will get you all set up. If you would like some extra content with me throughout the month, check us out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box as well. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Yeah. All righty then. Let's talk to... Libra rising. Hi, Libra. So Venus is in retrograde right now. And I feel like you and Taurus, your who are whom are ruled by or who are ruled by Venus, y'all are getting rocked. Your worlds are being shook. And I told this to Lib to Taurus, I'm tell you, when I was connecting to your energy early this morning when I woke up coming, you know, just collecting myself laying in bed, do a little bit of a meditation. It's Friday, so it's Venus Day. So I am very much in comfort mode right now. I've got my extra large hoodie on or sweatshirt on and everything and everything. But as I was connecting to the energies of Venus for today and in turn connecting with you and Taurus, I saw that Libra and Taurus are kind of going through it at the moment. Your worlds are being shook. And I saw Taurus, Taurus is hiding under a rock, trying to pretend that nothing is happening. And then Libra is standing out there as all kinds of things are being torn down and changed and shifted. And you're just kind of standing like, everything's going to be okay. 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 <laughs> like <laughs> that kind of energy, right? And so because of that, Libra, your title this month is everything's going to be okay, dot, dot, dot. Right? So this, you could be experiencing this one of two ways, or maybe you could be experiencing it in both ways. You could be experiencing this as your world is being rocked and you're kind of struggling to keep the balance and or the world of the people around you is being rocked and you're struggling to keep the balance for them. Very similar to Taurus, where you may have been the, well, not necessarily for you, the rock, but where you may have been the voice of reason, Libra, now you may not have the answers. You probably don't have the answers. And there may be people around you, closest to you, that may have once relied on you to be that voice of reason for them. They may be coming forward towards you saying like, Libra, what's going on? I don't understand. I'm, I'm freaking out, man. Like, what's happening? And you don't necessarily have the answers for them. You probably don't have the answers for them at all. One of the main things that I wrote down for you, the very first thing I wrote down for you, Libra, in all capital letters, having trouble communicating. Now, this probably has a lot to do with Mercury about to go retrograde this month. I believe Mercury goes retrograde on like the 16th or something like that. 
um, doesn't really matter. It's happening this month and you may already be feeling the, the effects of that. But the reason why I feel like the biggest reason why I feel like Libra, you may be having, having trouble communicating or you may, you may not have the answers for people is the fact that Venus is retrograde right now, your ruling planet. And Venus is working to reshape our values. So it could be that you don't have the answers for people right now because you don't see things in the same way. Now, it could very well be that it's an F, an effect of things crumbling. What the, I, I see you, Libra, standing in kind of a wasteland and the environment that I see around you is dark and murky and dusty and just like things are not clear or things are not as they were in the past. So it's hard for you to see. It's you. You don't have the answers right now. Okay. Um, okay. So with 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 that said, let's get into the the chart now. All right, Libra. So what you have on your screen, this is the chart for Libra rising for January twenty twenty two in terms of sidereal astrology. And for you, Libra, you have a second to fourth house focus for all of this now the big thing that's happening this month yes we have a new moon and we have a full moon just like every month but the big big thing that's happening this month is a conjunction between the sun and pluto and then and that's not happening on the 16th and then the very next day on the 17th we have a full moon so there is a big big infusion of power for us at this time in the realm of ourselves okay which is the sun now for you libra again venus is retrograde but all of this is happening for you in your third house the full moon the retrograde motion of venus and the conjunction between the sun and pluto this is all happening in your third house okay all, uh, now now the house the third house is your house of I like to say communication and commerce, right? It, I do get a little bit of a business energy when it comes to the third house because the third house is all about communication, all right? And so commerce and that kind of thing, right? Um, so, but this also could be, Libra, why you're having trouble communicating this month because of this retrograde motion of Venus that is happening in your third house. On top of that, Mercury is here in your fourth house. This is your house of nurturance, right? How you nurture yourself, but also how you nurture other people potentially. And Mercury is about to go retrograde back from your fourth house into your third house. And with this Mercury retrograde, I am feeling like all of us have an opportunity to rewrite the programming okay mercury also rules the third house and all of this energy is concentrated in your third house right now now other than venus here being retrograde helping us to reshape or realign with certain values reach change our values altogether you do have mars here in your second house which again is ruled by venus and this is your house of values the house of your monetary values, how you make money, the types of things or the types of experiences or the types of relationships or the types of emotions, how what you put value in, how you value them, okay? And Mars is going through a big shift right now in changing his alignment, which is then gonna help him to link up with Venus, the masculine link up with the feminine for that new alignment between the masculine and the feminine to be further empowered by the time we reach the conjunction between Venus, Mars, and Pluto, which again, Libra is happening in your third house. All right. On top of that, we also have Uranus, which is a big influence on us right now because Uranus is in Aries. Mars rules Aries. Okay. But for you, Libra, this is happening in your seventh house your house officially your house of interpersonal relationships okay so with your personal alignment as a soul as an individual is shifting that's changing your perception of things and when people are coming to you with these same old questions with things that you've been able to be that voice of reason for 
they're coming to you with like libra this is changing i don't know what's happening and you're kind of standing there like i don't really know what to tell you because i'm experiencing this change too and some of the advice that i may have given you in the past isn't relevant isn't applicable or i don't even believe in it anymore yeah okay so let me get to my notes here uranus is in your seventh house venus is retrograde in your th third house mercury is retro going to go retrograde from your fourth to your third and mars is in your second we talked about all of that so your alignment in terms of values may be changing drastically or maybe it's theirs that is changing. It doesn't necessarily just have to be that you're the one that's changing or your perspective is changing. Others' perspective may be changing and that could also be the reason why you don't have answers for people, okay? These are very uncharted territories, uncharted waters I'm feeling for you, Libra. Next thing I have here is chill, okay? Allow the retrogrades to do what they will. The answers will come once once the dust settles. Very tower-like energy, right? And then finally, the finally, what I wrote down here for you, Libra, and this is something that I spoke to Taurus as well about, it's the North and the South node. So the North node for the collective right now is in Taurus. The South node is in Libra, which is your sign. For you, Libra, this is in your first house. So the South node is in, the, is in your first house, your house of self, right? And the South Node relates to our past lives. I like to say parallel lives because in the grand scheme of things, there is no past, present, or future, or I'm sorry, there is no past or future. There is only the present moment. And when you really think about it cosmically, everything is happening all at once. It's just this one big explosion of, of, of events that's happening all at once, right? But the South, low, the South Node relates to past life circumstances, what you experienced, what you grew into, what you learned in the past life. Your North, your North Node, or the North Node, is your future forward direction, what it is you are meant to be experiencing in this lifetime. So this is a Taurus connection energy, a Taurus energy connection for you. So you may actually want to watch the Taurus reading. Other than the fact that Venus is retrograde, you both are ruled by Taurus. I'm sorry, you both are ruled by by Venus. Uh, but for you, Libra, your North Node is in the seventh house. So with this Taurus connection, I feel like. And you're a mutable sign, so this change may not be as extreme or damaging as. Taurus is experiencing it, but there's something about a new direction or a new momentum forward that we're needing to align with here, okay? And again, that's in your seventh house, Libra. That's you, your house, your house of interpersonal relationships. So how you are relating to people is changing, is needing to change. But with all of that, you do have the two of swords. Not wanting to see... But Libra, I don't think for you, it, for, for Taurus, it's not wanting to see what's next or what's coming forward. For you, Libra, it's an inability to see. It's an inability to see because things are too cloudy right now. The dust, again, the dust needs to settle. So with this Libra, you are being guided to really focus on your intuition and what your senses are picking up on, uh, your, your, your extra sensory perception is picking up on not what the physical reality is representing to you right now but with that with this two of swords you do have the three of swords with the star so what you are not able to see right now libra is that justice is being served well there you are also justice uh, overall energy but what you are unable to see right now is that there is a fact of or a, a, an element of healing coming through with a certain level of heartbreak here or detrimental activities or something i'm hearing there um i'm getting that there is a way forward and yes it's nebulous right now you can't really make any you can't make heads of tails heads or tails of it right now but the unconditional love is coming through, is being poured down by the universe. There is a way out of this. Big thing I'm feeling, Libra, is that you just have to allow the death, the, you have to allow the death to happen. 
you have to allow the transformation to happen. You also need to allow the dust to settle, okay? What else do we have for Libra in terms of this? The Fool. There is a new way forward. And what I'm getting with this Libra, this Fool energy is that you are at a station. We'll say a train station or a bus station. There Again, there is a way forward. There is a new path to take. But really, you just have to wait for the train or the bus to get into the station before you can really move forward. Again, allow the dust to settle. There is a way out of this, Libra. And you don't have to understand what that is. You don't have to be that individual that comes, comes forward and says to people, okay, this is what we're doing. You don't have to be. Allow the universe to handle that for you right now. Again, chill. Allow the dust to settle. Allow the retrograde motion of these planets to do what it is it's gonna do. When the time is right, when the dust has settled, you'll be able to have the answers. You will be able to see how you can move forward, okay? Next card here is the Seven of Wands in reverse. You have got to you have got to release your defenses. You have got to lease, release your defenses and release the resistance, okay? And allow the unconditional love to be poured down on you by the universe. And if you are, if you do have people coming forward, like people that you counsel or whatnot, and they're asking you, they're freaking out. They're like, what the hell is going on? How do I handle this? Try to get them to release some of the resistance, to let down some of their swords, I want to say, and to just open up to the change that's coming through, all right? Uh, either for you, Libra, or for the people around you, an extreme sense of defensiveness and resistance is actually only making these changes that are inevitable much harder to handle with. It's causing more friction. It's causing more strife. It's causing more pain. Don't allow that to happen. Really allow yourself to be open and receptive to this. Look at this. The Ace of Cups keeps coming out. That's because the universe is trying to remind you or get you to understand that there is love behind all of this. You don't have to fear this change. And then you have that with the Nine of Cups. The Ace to the Nine makes the Ten. So effectively, we have the Ten of Cups here. And this is actually a promise coming through from the universe saying, all will be well, your needs will be met, and you're probably going to end up, if you just allow us to, to pour this unconditional love on you, if you accept this ace, this love, this ace of cups that's coming through, it will help you to complete your ten, ten of cups. But then overall energy is the Ten of Swords. You have to allow the previous situations to sufficiently come to an end. Yeah, there's fear behind that. The Nine of Swords, Page of Swords, nine of so Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Page of Swords to the Tower. And that's the type of energy that I'm seeing in, in your environment around you right now. The tower. The page of swords and the nine of swords is that energy of either you or people within uh, in your collective or people around you that are coming through asking all kinds of questions, trying to get answers, trying to see clearly because they're wrapped up in fear. Nine of swords. The hanged man. What I'm getting with the hanged man right now is that, again, you have to allow the dust to settle. But also, the thing about the hanged man is being in a stuck or stagnant or um, confined place in which you can't move. And this makes sense because you can't see which direction to go. You don't know what's in front of you. You don't have the answers. You don't know how. You don't know what decisions to make. But you're being held in this place for a reason. Again, Libra, you have got to just let the dust settle. Once the dust settles, the sun rises, and you can see clearly, then you will be able to make your move. But it's from that point that you'll be able to make your move because there will be a different perspective available to you. Once this tower energy really settles, once the dust really settles, you will be able to make your moves but you will be making moves from a 
different mindset, from a different point of view. And that's why it's not working now. That's why you don't have the answers now because you don't see it yet. There's the 10 of cups again. And I, I don't like to speak in absolutes here. Number one, because this is a general reading. Number two, because energy is weird like that. Like it can change in a split second, but there is a promise here of a better day with this 10 of cups energy that's coming through. There is a promise from the universe. Anything else for the hanged man? <laughs> death. Let the death happen. Figuratively, literally, I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But you got to let the death and transformation happen. Okay. Back to that 10 of swords, Libra. All right. Let's close out this part of the reading with some oracle guidance from the Oracle of the Seven Energies, yeah? Five shuffles here, Libra. One. Two. Three. Closing Oracle Guidance for Libra Rising, please, Spirit. Closing Guidance for Libra Rising. Uh, okay, Libra, I'm actually being guided to not get your closing guidance from there i'm being guided to use the romance angels now and i guess that's because this is so focused on interpersonal relationships for you right now all right two more shuffles okay all right so what's libra's closing guidance please spirit Overall energy is healing family issues. Doesn't necessarily have to be blood family, could just be your soul family, right? Okay. But then your closing message is here, Libra. Trust was the first card out, followed by free yourself. And some of you are saying, okay, but I feel stuck. How do I free myself here? Again, you trust and you allow the dust to settle so that you can take a moment or so that you have that opportunity to take a deep breath and recognize the new perspective that you have so that from there, from that point, you can move forward. But you need to allow yourself to be free of whatever is falling away, that tower energy. Again, allow the dust to settle. Yes? All right. I'm going to pause for a moment. Re uh, collect myself and then we are going to get into the general card pull for the collective of libra yeah stay tuned hi libra all right guys so welcome to the second half of this reading and so this is oh, damn it i did it again i keep forgetting to write down these friggin time stamps all right anyway uh Hi, Libra. So welcome to the second half of this reading here. This is going to be for just the general Libra collective. Yeah, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, non-denominational, whatever form of, of astrology you subscribe to, doesn't really matter. This is just a general collective energy card pull energy reading for the collective of Libra. So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other Libra place, placement that you have, also could be talking to the cross watcher here yes if we have anybody cross watching for a libra so let's just get into this libra i'm going to give this five shuffles here for you and we're going to work with the energy oracle deck and we'll see what messages we have for you for this month yeah this is one 
For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other place that you're curious about, also the Cross Watcher, this is to what messages do we have for the collective of Libra for the month of January 2022? This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, so what's going on for Libra this month? What messages do we have for Libra this month, please, please? Okay, overall energy at the bottom of the deck is indecision. And that totally keeps in alignment with the title that I have for you guys this month. Everything's going to be okay, right? <laughs> but also what you have here, Libra, is patience, the thinking man, and man holding a heart. What I'm hearing for you, Libra, here is practical application. Um... You're needing to have patience because many of you are wanting to take action in terms of how your heart is guiding you. Okay. Masculine energy. I mean, you don't have to be a man to resonate with this. This is just this. It feels like this is speaking to your masculine side. All right. Everybody's got masculine and feminine energy within. You're really indecisive. You don't know how to serve or work with or heal the people around you. And what I was channeling for Libra rising in terms of sidereal astrology, but what I was channeling for them was having trouble communicating. People coming to you seeking answers or seeking guidance and you don't know what to tell them. But I feel like that has a lot to do with not only their changing environment and their changing world, but yours. Because you're still being affected by this Venus retrograde emotion as well. Maybe more so than some others, just like Taurus, because Venus is your ruling planet. And because of that, you you may not know how to answer people question people uh, you may not know how to answer people's questions because of their changing, their the changes they're they're experiencing, but also from yours as well. Your values are changing. Your alignment is changing. You may not be able to advise anybody on the same thing that you were able to advise them on before because your understanding, your belief system, what it is you value is changing. So maybe you don't even resonate with the advice you would have given them in the past. So you're trying to figure out what action to take here. And you're being asked for patience. Your indecision is not an effect of you being inadequate or you no longer having the answers or you being out of touch. It's literally an effect of the changing world. You have the world at the bottom of the deck, the endings that are coming to play that are happening right now. And these endings are in fact leading towards the opening of the door to personal healing and happiness, but you have to get through this this nebulous period first. I was I was saying this to Libra Rising throughout. You have got to let, let the dust settle first before you can make any moves, make any plans, set any plans into action, take any action, or really give any advice. What else do we have for Libra this month? What other messages? Wow. Wow, Libra. Okay, overall energy at the bottom of the deck is yin and yang. So this to me speaks to balance, obviously, but it also, it really speaks to the balance of masculine and feminine energy within. And then you have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Sixth chakra is your third eye chakra. And then you have walking away. So... 
what's going on here? So I don't know why this is happening, but anyway, so Libra, there is absolutely an effect here of you seeing something completely differently. I'm hearing your eyes are wide open to some new reality or a change in perspective. And we definitely talked about that with Libra rising. Okay. The hanged man, a change in perspective. But this change in perspective, seeing this, whatever this is for you, seeing this in a new way, Libra, is literally causing you to walk away from some things that you may have once deemed necessary or positive in the past. This is another representation of the fact that you may not be able to advise people any longer on or in the same way because you don't feel the same way. You don't see things the same way anymore. And I just heard, yeah, that's kind of a topic of contention for all of us right now. It's not just you. And Libra, it is definitely not your fault. Let's get some tarot here. <laughs> definitely not your fault, Libra. I don't want you to take any, feel like you have to take any sort of blame for this. You don't. Three shuffles here, one. Let's get some clarity for Libra. Especially ter in terms of your sixth chakra here, your change in perspective. This is two. And this is three. I mean, like, even if this change is really only solely happening within yourself, I mean, sure, you have to take responsibility for yourself, but it's not like... I want to say, Libra, it's not even like you're trying to make this change within yourself. It's literally just happening. And that is absolutely connected to Venus's retrograde motion right now through Sagittarius in sidereal astrology, of course. But, Sider but, but, but Sagittarius is an expansive energy. It's, a, it's an energy of foreign lands, something that could be completely alien to you. Makes sense, right? It's not your fault. It's not even like you're trying to change this. You're not driving this change. The universe is driving it for you. So you can't really accept responsibility for that. It's not your place to accept it. Don't blame me, blame the universe, kind of. And the universe is kind of saying, is kind of asking you to kind of fall back, lean back on it and be like, yeah, if you have to, blame us. What's the sixth chakra energy for... Well, first of all, you have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It is what it is. Objectional. I didn't talk about this. Don't worry about it. Some of you might want to watch the Taurus reading just because there is a connection for you. With the Libra, the, the with the nodes. The North Node is in Taurus right now. And that's the direction that we are moving in as a collective. So you might want to watch the Taurus reading. Okay. But well, what is this sixth chakra energy? King of sword, King of swords. It is what it is. Things are not the same as they were before. It's objective. We're not even trying to be emotional about it. It's just literally like things are changing. King of swords is saying, you cannot stand here and tell me you don't see the tower coming down. You can't. It's right there in front of you. So now as a response to that, I'm hearing you say, so how do you expect me to approach this the same way when the same way doesn't even exist anymore? Again, Libra, it's not your fault. What's this sixth chakra energy for Libra? Five of wands, four of swords, Wow. All right. So what you have here, Libra, clarifying this sixth chakra or clarifying your change in perspective here, you have the five of wands, which is speaking to the energy of the collective in going back and forth and throwing their opinions around. Well, I don't think this should change. I don't want this to change this, that, and the third but you're asked to not even focus on that 
five of wands to the four of swords taking it back to the king of swords energy it is what it is change is inevitable and with that you have the three of cups in reverse again which is talking about the people around you that are not vibing with this but then the king of wands upright just because you have people around you that are saying i don't like this i don't want this to change it doesn't mean that you have to change what it is you're doing to appease them the king of wands is not the type of individual to let anybody tell them what he or what he can or cannot do again you don't have to be a man to resonate with that overall energy at this point is victory the six of wands but you're gonna have to work to the eight of wow six of wands to the eight of pentacles to the six of swords to death to the page of pentacles to libra energy justice and the fool and the magician and the sun so victory is coming but you're gonna have to work on building it six of swords you're moving away from rough situations rough waters into calmer waters you have death change transformation page of pentacles a new start a new chapter so okay so i want to get some um well let's talk about walking away what's walking away for libra here what advice do you have the world completion an end of a process an end of a situation or circumstance anything else for walking away nine of wands keep going and i don't mean keep going in terms of what it is you're trying to walk away from keep going and walking away in moving forward perseverance don't stop don't stop now back to the king of swords libra it is what it is Finally, let's look at patience for you, Libra. What's this patience energy for Libra? Very much temperance energy. Yeah, re-alchemizing things. The sun. Everything is going to be okay, Libra. All you have to do is just continue to follow your heart and the guidance that's coming through there. All right? To the magician. The magician is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Good. Uh, you're manifesting. Good. But with this, uh, to clarify patience, Libra, what you have is the Sun, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So just main your, maintain your alignment. Whatever it is that's being revealed to you here, what's being shown to you here by the Sun, and what your heart is saying in response to that, maintain that alignment. You have the King and the Queen of Wands here. I do feel like, Libra, you're a little bit of a pioneer in this situation. I do feel like this has a lot to do with leading people forward, which is so crazy because, and I mentioned this to Taurus, but um, the Taurus energies and now the Libra energies are really resonating with me. But I am a Taurus and a Libra in respect to keeping with sidereal astrology in respect to my progressed chart. As far as my progressed chart goes, my sun is now in Taurus. My moon is now in Libra. I don't remember. Oh, and I'm a Virgo rising in terms of my sidereal progressed chart, which is interesting because in terms of my natal uh, tropical chart, I'm a Taurus sun, Leo moon with a Virgo rising. Isn't that weird? So this is really resonating for me too. No, I don't necessarily have all the answers for everybody. What I know is this is the direction I'm being led in by the universe. So I'm just going to go with it. So Libra, I really do feel like there is a pioneering energy involved here for you. And all you really need to do is maintain the trajectory of where it is you're being led right now. Whatever is happening that is shifting your current alignment into something more heart-centered or maybe even something more uh, uh, universally centered, the sun, maintain that alignment and persevere with that, okay? Because there is some sort of victory 
being manifested here in terms of the new direction that we're moving in. The magician to the six of wands to the fool to justice as overall energies for you, Libra. All right. Cool. I am going to close out with this reading with the magic of unicorns oracle. Three shuffles. One. So in terms of this question of everything's going to be okay, right? Yes, everything's going to be okay. Two. You just have to let the dust settle. You just have to let the chips fall where they're gonna. Three. All right. Closing messages for my Libras, the general Libra collective. Taurus got a same energy. Card number nine, open your heart, love yourself, dare to be vulnerable. Beautiful. And then finally, your card here is card number six. Enter the magic. Live in the now. Seize the moment. And what is the now? The now is great change, Libra. So seize it. Take advantage of it. You would have the easiest time as a mutable sign. You would, be, you would have the easiest time in organizing and making sense of this change. But Libra, that doesn't have to happen right now because the dust needs to settle first. So embrace it. Live in the now. Seize the moment of what the now is providing to you and what you can manifest through that. Yes? Okay, Libra. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you are new here, again, please consider subscribing. Smash that like button for me. Share this with your friends and family. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. If you would like a personal reading with me, whether that be just tarot or side, or, or astrology or both, hit me up. My, in, my email can be found in the description box below, as well as uh, some of the readings that I offer. And if you would like to support the channel and or just get extra monthly content from me throughout the month, uh, well, extra content with me throughout the month, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can also be found in the description box below. I love you all so much. I'm sending you so much love and I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yes. Excellent. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>